Hi, it's Chester Tugwell at Blue Pecan Computer Training, and in this video, we're going to look at how to create buttons on your ribbon for custom number formats. Now, we're going to do this by writing tiny little bits of code that will apply each type of custom number format that you want to create. And we want these macros, these little bits of VBA code, to be available to any workbook on your PC. So we have to save the macros in a specific place. Now, the first thing to do would be to show this developer tab on your ribbon. And if it's not currently showing, it's fairly easy to show. You just right click one of the existing tabs on your ribbon, customize the ribbon. And then you just want to tick this little tick box here, the developer tick box. Now, what you're going to do next uh, seems a little bit strange, but you're going to record a completely useless macro in a specific location, and that will make available to you in the Visual Basic Editor the place that you need to save all your custom number formats. So the way to do this is on the Developer tab, go to Record Macro, and you can just call the macro test. You're never going to use it again. But the important thing is that you must save it in the personal macro workbook. This personal macro workbook is a hidden workbook that is always open in Excel. And if you save your little bits of custom number format VBA here, the macros will be available to all workbooks that you use on your PC. So here we go. So we're just going to record a useless macro. I'm just going to put a T in there. It doesn't matter what you do. Stop recording. Now, once you've done that, you can go to the Visual Basic Editor. So click on Visual Basic there. And you should see in the Visual Basic Editor that you now have a project called Personal Excel SB. You need to expand that. There'll be a Modules folder there. And if you double click on Module 1, you'll see this useless bit of code that you created. Now, we had to record the useless bit of code to make this appear in this Project Explorer here. So that's exactly why we did that. So you can just delete all that. If it doesn't say option explicit up there, don't worry. Uh, it's not, not necessary for what we're about to do. So you can create custom number formats for currency. For example, we'll create one in a minute that shows negative figures in brackets. That's a common thing that you have to do. Or you might create a custom number format for dates that show the uh, day of the week as a word, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, for example. So we'll have a look at those two examples. They're quite simple to achieve. So the first one we're going to create, you just start with the word sub, sub procedure, and then we'll give it a name. It doesn't really matter what you call it. Uh, currency negatives in brackets, no spaces. You just put empty parenthesis at the end. And what you always do is you write selection dot number format equals open quotation mark. Now, what you put in the quotation mark is depend depends entirely on the number format that you want to apply. Now, I'm just going to minimize this. So I'm back in Excel. And I'll show you how to get the syntax for the number format that you want. Basically, what you do is you press Control 1 on your keyboard. And that will open up the format cells dialog box go to custom here and you can see that there are all these built-in number formats here now what you want to do is pick one that's close to what you already want to achieve so as I said earlier on I want to create a custom number format that uh, displays negative currency figures within brackets so I'm going to start with this one here uh, the positive figure is fine. That's always to the left of the semicolon. And to the right of the semicolon is the format for the negative figure. Now, what I'm going to do is just take out that negative figure there and put it in brackets. OK, so I only need to change a few things there. And then I'm going to copy that, Control c cancel out of that, and go back to the Visual Basic Editor. It's the developer, Visual Basic. I paste in that number format, and I close the quotation marks. So 
Let's see how we then create a button for this particular macro. So I can minimize it again. And I'm going to create a tab on my ribbon for the custom number format. So to do that, just right click on any of these tabs, customize the ribbon. And what we're going to do is create an additional tab. So it doesn't matter really where you click up here, but I'm going to say new tab down here. That creates my new tab there, and I'm going to rename it custom uh, number formats. And then you can place it wherever you like. I might put it at the bottom, I think. Just move it down. And then what I can do is find the macro in this list on the left here. So I go to macros there. There we are. There's my macro. And I'm going to add it to this. Can't add it there. I've got to add it to this group. So I might call the group, I don't know, uh, currency formats. Might have more than one that I want to store. And I can also, if I select this, the actual macro itself, I can rename that, which would be useful. But I can also choose a little button for it. That'll do there. And currency negative, I'll know what that means. That'll display currency negatives and brackets. Okay. And then what I'm going to do is click on OK. And you'll see I've got custom number formats here. And I've got this button here. So if I had some numbers, so let's say 678, and then had minus that there. If I select those two and click on this button, you can see that it applies that format. OK, let's do another one for dates. We want to do dates where uh, the, the dates are formatted to show the day of the week as a word. So again, I'm going to go to Developer Visual Basic, Sub uh, Weekday as Word. Really doesn't matter what you call it. And again, I can. This is this bit's the same essentially. Now, this one I'm actually going to write myself. Uh, no, actually, I'll just show you how it works within Excel, because I think it'll be clearer for you, although it's quite easy to write. So I'm going to put today's date in, Control semicolon. Today's a Friday. And Control 1, Custom. And you can see the current format for the date, DD slash MM slash YYY. I'll delete that. That gives you then the serial number for the date. Now, what's that sample box as I type? So D gives you the uh, day of the month as a number. DD also does. Three Ds gives you an abbreviated day of the week. And then four Ds gives you the full day, uh, full name. So then I'm going to put my Ds in for the uh, day of the month. Then M is January. See how it works. There we are. So that's my my syntax. So I copy that, cancel. Then I'm going to go back to the Visual Basic. There's a shortcut key for this, by the way, Alt F11. And I'm just going to paste that in there. Okay. So now to create a button for it, same as before. Right click, customize the ribbon, find your macro, add it making that mistake you've got to add it to the group and then you've got to find your little uh, your perfect little button for it uh, let's go for that I don't know right so click on OK and then click on OK again so now uh, I didn't name it so that looks a bit ugly so it's just back customize the ribbon rename it uh, date format day of week in words as word probably a bit a better name for that in reality but I think you are following me so if I click on that button now expand it you can see that it applies it for me quite nice okay so last thing is 
when you close Excel, so for example, if I close this down, I'm not even going to bother saving it. And then you go to close Excel itself. It will ask you this question. Do you want to save changes you made to the personal macro workbook? So at this point, you need to click save. Otherwise, it won't save those little bits of code in that personal macro workbook, which is essential. You don't do this. You don't save. You've wasted your time. OK, so you just click save and everything will be tickety boo. Thank you very much for listening. It's been Chester Tugwell at Blue Pecan Computer Training.